Discover what's possible when we think research at Case Western Reserve University. It's hard for anybody to come to a zoo and look into the eyes of a gorilla and not recognize a little bit of themselves. This gentle giant will win over your heart, but it's his own heart that has the attention of researchers from Case Western Reserve University and Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Part of what we're trying to do is maintain the healthiest population of gorillas that we can. Heart disease is the leading cause of death among male gorillas in zoos, and recent cardiac ultrasounds indicate both gorillas at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo have the disease. Bebek and Makolo are two adult male gorillas. One of the most important parts of a gorilla's day in the wild is what it eats and how it spends its time. So we started looking at what we were feeding gorillas and where we could make some improvements. So they started by getting rid of Bebek and Makolo's processed biscuits. They're full of nutrients, but also high in calories, sugar, and starch. And as we took that out, we had to be careful that we were still keeping the diet balanced according to National Research Council guidelines. And so it was, it was a long process. The new gorilla menu now includes endive, dandelion greens, romaine lettuce, green beans, and alfalfa hay, about 10 pounds of veggies a day. Bebek and Makolo are going ape but they were a little disappointed at first that their diet was lower in sugar, just like humans, they really liked their sugar, but they enjoyed the produce and they were eating everything. Bebek and Makolo have been on the diet about a year and have each lost 65 pounds. The new diet has also tamed abnormal behaviors never observed in the wild, such as bringing up food and re-ingesting it. Our gorillas did that behavior quite frequently, up to four times an hour on average. After changing this diet, it completely went away. We also have another behavior that's not observed in the wild. They pluck their hair and eat it, and this behavior went down significantly after we changed the diet. The gorillas are scheduled for a follow-up ultrasound to see how their diet has helped their heart function. As chair of the Gorilla Species Survival Plan, Kristen Lucas will incorporate the research in Cleveland into recommendations for zoos across the country. So this isn't research that's being done in an ivory tower that's just going to sit on a shelf. We try to link even the research that we're doing on the animal's health to the ultimate goal of increasing the likelihood of their survival long term in the wild. Learn more on how Case Western Reserve University thinks beyond the possible at case.edu.